derivatives. Limits. Limit is basically a tool for analyzing a function in a given region. And whether or not it is possible to consider a continuous curve in a range that has values outside the curve. For example, let x be the squared minus 25 over x minus 5. See that we can make this function be separated into monomers. Using the property of the square of difference we can make x squared minus 25 be the product of two monomers x minus 5x plus 5. We could examine the curve of each of the monomers, and we have the curves x minus 5x plus 5, see that they are continuous, but if we look at curve 1 on x minus 5, Note how a discontinuity occurs in the graph of that function. But according to the concept of a limit, we can ignore point 5 of the x-axis, and analyze the curve without this point. So we can calculate the limit in point 5. That is to say, when making the limit of the function, we can divide into monomers, and take the factor x minus 5, which is above and below the denominator, making it the limit of x plus 5. Now it is simple because the limit of x plus 5 when x tends to 5 is only put x with the value of 5 and we have the value of 10. That is, even if we cannot define the value of x when it is 5, we can say with the function of the limit that when x is close to 5 its value is 10. If you want more theoretical explanations watch the hard difficulty videos. Now let's go for some exercises. Be the square root function of x minus 2 over x minus 4. Let's then calculate the limit of this function when x tends to 4. The basic rule is to keep in mind the remarkable products, and to be able to see in function such a remarkable product. Let's look at the list of notable products, see that there are many, but you must with the training, observe which ones are used the most. Of course all can be deduced, but staying doing this may seem to try to invent the wheel logical for anyone who perfects the wheel is good to do to see where you can change the wheel, but at this point we are only learning to do. See the product of difference. Observe the characteristics well, because in the exercises you try to make it difficult to see what this product is. Let's go back to the exercise. Can you see that the square root of x squared is x? And that the square of 2 is 4? Then by applying the product we have, square root of x plus 2 times square root of x minus 2, which can divide 1 by the other, and there remains the function 1 on square root of x plus 2. Now, the limit of x when x tends to 4 is 4. Now it is only solve. As square root of 4 is 2, we have that the answer is 1 over 4. Remember to train normally and having the remarkable product table next to it helps a lot. But most importantly and see if you learned because table is found anywhere. In the next video we will have several exercises for fixing.